The presidential race and former President Trump focusing on Nevada this weekend. Vice President Harris is also there while President Biden campaigns in South Carolina. ABC's White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks joins us now from Washington with the latest. Mary Alice, good morning. With good morning to you. The former president holding a rally in Las Vegas just a day after that jury in New York ordered him to pay $83 million in damages for defamation. In South Carolina, President Biden talking mostly about issues like investment in black communities and student loans, but also taking on Trump directly. Ready for a rematch, President Biden on the campaign trail overnight focused on his predecessor. Donald Trump is a loser. And you're the reason we're going to win and beat him again. Biden thanking a crowd of supporters in South Carolina, the state that helped propel him to the Democratic nomination four years ago. You're the reason Donald Trump is a defeated former president. In Las Vegas, Vice President Kamala Harris on offense, too, reminding voters Trump said he would be a dictator for a day. Dictators jail journalists. Dictators suspend elections. Dictators take your rights. Trump himself in Las Vegas as well. Nevada next up in the Republican primaries. It's time to finish this primary and get going. The former president campaigning just a day after a nine-person jury in New York this week ordered him to pay writer E. Jean Carroll $83 million in damages for maliciously defaming her. Trump briefly referring to the decision. Look at yesterday. Look at all this crap that's going on. But we keep marching forward. But his primary rival, Nikki Haley, weighing in. All that time that he's spending in a courtroom defending himself, he's not fighting for the American people. Back in Nevada, Trump supporters telling us they view him as a fighter. If people can't get over their, their dislike of Trump, then they shouldn't be in the party. Now, Trump has vowed to appeal last week's verdict. And in Nevada, again, we heard the former president bragging about trying to derail those bipartisan congressional talks on immigration, saying the Republicans should wait until after the election to do something on the issue. But President Biden in South Carolina was begging Republicans to stay at the negotiating table and get him something that he can sign now. With Mary Alice Parks, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.